Hey everybody, it's Joel Williams and Chase Elby coming to you today to talk about assessing whether an attorney is qualified to handle your personal injury case. So we just want to go over a few different factors with you and things to consider when you're looking at an attorney and trying to decide whether he or she uh, is going to be the best fit for you. Yeah, so obviously the first thing is to review that attorney's practice areas. Like doctors, attorneys typically specialize in one or two areas of the law. So if you have a bankruptcy issue, you don't want to come to me or Joel because we're not bankruptcy attorneys, we're personal injury attorneys. Um, but that is obviously the first place you'd want to look is to make sure whatever your issue is that that attorney practices in that area. Yeah. Um, the second thing I would say is maybe look at his or her years of practice. How long have they been a lawyer? Are they um, a rookie coming right out of law school? If you want somebody that's super motivated and just gung-ho, that might be the best fit for you, but there's disadvantages to that as well, right? They don't have the um, they don't have the real world experience um, like somebody else might. But if you get somebody with 50 years of experience, right. they might not be so gung ho, right. <laughs> right. just figuring out how to retire. But um, you kind of want to find that middle ground and find somebody that's got sufficient experience, but also has the motivation to push your case as hard as possible. Yeah, for sure. I think another thing to consider too is look at the track record of that attorney. Um, you know, all cases are different, especially in what we do. Um, but there are certainly ways to find out what the success rate is, you know, what their settlements or verdicts might be. Um, so definitely look into that stuff as well. I think that's very important to look yeah. to. Yeah, and I'd, number four is probably not crazy important for the vast majority of cases because most cases settle, but you do need to have an attorney that has trial experience mm -hmm. so that if your case does end up going to trial, you're confident that your attorney knows how to handle his or herself uh, in the courtroom uh, because you know everybody's got to do it the first time I guess but I wouldn't I wouldn't want my attorney's first trial to be my case <laughs> well it's important too that I mean defense firms and insurance companies know the law firms that will try cases so it certainly helps in what we do in you know trying to negotiate and resolve cases because if the other side knows that hey if you keep giving us low ball offers we'll just go try the case then they know they have to come with their best offer that they can because trial is a risk, um, especially for the defense if you have a good case. So it certainly helps to have that experience. Yep. Uh, what's number five? Okay, so number five would be to evaluate peer recognition or any like awards they've gotten or involvement in the area of law that they practice. Um, Joel and I are members of GTLA, which is Georgia Trial Lawyers Association. We do a lot through that organization. But there's many other organizations uh, that lawyers can be involved in uh, where they try to help other lawyers in that field, help the community and things like that. Yep. Um, another place you can look uh, is client testimonials. So just a simple Google search and look through their um, their reviews online and see you know what's what do people praise them for? Are people past clients critical of them for anything? Um, and just you know sometimes that'll give you a good feel for you know the reputation that that firm has in the community. Um, it's not always the end all be all but it certainly can be helpful when you're trying to determine whether a lawyer is a good fit for your case yeah and i think last but not least probably the most important thing is to schedule consultation whether that's over the phone or in person um, and just see if you get along with that person see if you can see that person representing you in court you know there's a lot of times where clients you know you might look at someone's website and they might be a great lawyer but you get on the phone with them and you guys just aren't on the same page you don't have the same you know goals and motivation so i think it's very important just to sit down with that lawyer sort of interview them just as much as they are interviewing you to be their client or for you to be their client um, i think that's very important yep so those are seven things that you can look at to determine whether um, an attorney is going to be qualified or the best fit for you in your case um, but we hope the tips have been helpful to you if so give us a thumbs up otherwise we will see you next week uh, where we will discuss comparative fault and how it could affect your personal injury case mm -hmm.